Now let's talk about multiplying three or more fractions together. And the same technique of simplifying before we multiply applies here also. And all of these examples have three fractions multiplied together, but you could have four or five or any number of fractions multiplied. And as long as everything is multiplied, as long as nothing is added or subtracted, then we can simplify by canceling factors from the numerators and the denominators. So let's look at this first one. 3 eighths times 4 thirds times 5 sixths. One thing that stands out is the threes. The threes will cancel each other out. So those both become ones. And then this four, this four could uh, simplify with the eight or with the six. And it simplifies very nicely with the eight. You can see the four and the eight can both be divided by four. So this becomes a one and a two. And then to get our answer, we multiply the numerators. So one times one times five is five. And we multiply the denominators. Two times one times six is 12. So five twelfths is the answer. Okay, let's look at this next one. Three tenths times 15 halves times five thirds. Okay, look here, 10 and a 15 both of those can be divided by 5. So this will become a 3 and this will become a 2. Now this 3 down here could cancel out with either of those. Let's just cancel out one of those. And that looks like everything that can be simplified. The numerator uh, gives us 3 times 5, that's 15. And in the denominator we have 2 times 2, which is 4, 15 fourths. And you could convert that to a mixed number if you were asked to. And then down here, 15 halves times 7 tenths times 4 over 21. So let's see. Well, 15 and 10, those are both divisible by 5. So that reduces to a 3 and a 2. And look here, 7 and 21, those are both divisible by 7. So 7 divided by 7 is 1, and 21 divided by 7 is 3. And then this 4 can simplify, the 4 can simplify with uh, either of these 2's. Let's, uh, let's do this one, the 4 and the 2 divided by 2, this becomes a 1 and a 2. And look here, this 3 right here, and this 3 right here, those will simplify, and so will these twos. It looks like everything cancels out here. If you multiply across the top here, you get three times two right there, which gives you a six for the numerator, and down here, two times three gives you a six, and six over six reduces to one, see that? But look, this could reduce to one even before we do this step. You could take this, this three and this three, and you can reduce those to ones and you could take the two and the two and reduce those also and you end up with one times one times one over one times one times one and of course either way you do it you get the same answer 